Hey, what's up, guys? A uh, new pickup today, just one thing. Um, real quick before I get to it, the uh, reason why I haven't been collecting any cars is because I had to save up $1,000 for this. Um, that's an MPC-1000 made by Akai. That's another story, though. But, um, but yeah. Um, I was actually, it was actually $1,000, but got a huge discount on it. But, um, basically what it is, is I can make any kind of music. I could do music production on this. Um, so that's why I haven't been able to get many cars. But now I'm back to collecting my cars like normal. So today I went to Save Mart. They have the same old, same old thing. But now they have something new. They have these, uh, they bought back some more of the uh, DC Comics, some of the Little Riders, Metal Metals, um, cars. So this is some of the lineup that they have. Um, we got Nate Crate Delivery, which is, uh, um, the Riddler. Then we have a 38 Dodge Aeroflow, which is Supergirl. 59 Cadillac Funny Car, which is Batgirl. 65 Ford Ram Trail, which is Aquaman. I'm going to get that one on this Friday. They had a few of them. I could have got it today, but, uh. I wanted to save a little bit of money for the week, so while I'm out at work, you know, I could get little snacks. Um, then a 56 flat side, which is basically a 56 uh, chrome Chevy pickup step side. And then a dream van. Oh, and then flat side is plastic man. Very cool colors on that one. And then um, the dream van XGW is... Um, Dark something. I don't know. Never really heard of them. But the one that I picked out was the 38 Dodge Aeroflow, which is Supergirl. Um, basically liked it for the truck. Now, i never seen this truck ever released in a basic models or anything. Um, it could have been any, uh, in a garage series. I don't know. Or something. Or a special release. Maybe a mail-in. But so far, this is the first time I've seen it. Is real nice. And the um, real quick, the uh, plastic blister has been specially molded like around it. It wasn't just like a big blister, it's like it was like vacuum packed around it almost. So here is the truck. Very nice. Has um, some thick red lines. Real cool effect are these little, uh, this cape on the side next to the wheel. It's on the other side. It says Supergirl there. Dodge on the side. So you can see Supergirl on the side. And we have Supergirl on the back. Some kind of tanker truck. Here is our bottom. You can see the uh, little exhaust pipes right here. Very neat. Has a bit of tread. Rolls nice and smooth. Very cool. Here's the headlights. I might get a, another one of these and customize it. Um, basically customize it by paint just by uh, fan blast. Um, or find a way to take off the paint somehow. They have fan blasters that work, but I don't know if I can use them for that. So I'll probably take it apart, fan blast it down then do uh, another design on it um they had a few of these um not many you know they usually have the common ones in this in these lineups and the more common ones it's like the dream van 65 ford ram chiro and then our eight crate the they had a few of the flat siders then you know your cadillac funny car then the dodge arrow flow were a little bit um there are probably fewer of them to the case you know, probably every, like, let's say every, um, four Dream Vans are the one, uh, 38 Dodge Aeroflow or maybe two Cadillacs, um, you know, or something like that. But the common ones were, like, you know, your Dream Van, Ford, uh, Ranchero, and then your 8 Crate. Um, let me see if I get the light on that. 
but yeah, I will be getting the 65 Ford Ram Turo, possibly the Cadillac Bunny car. Um, I mean, all of them are pretty cool. I really like the Dream Van due to its colors. I might just wind up getting them all, I don't know. So that'd be like 30 bucks in the end. But I don't know, we'll see. But definitely next would be the Ford Ram Turo. Very neat, really like the wheels on that one too. But they had a few of them. But this one, I couldn't wait on. This one's just cool. Has steps on the sides right here for easy access. And the one thing that I like um, that's different is the back uh, kind of folds in like this. Those look like a lot of different um, Hot Wheels. Like with these tanker trucks, they go out and they just kind of go flat to the ground, which is cool, you know. But a lot of the trucks did that, a lot of these classic ones. This one went goes like down and in kind of like that, so it has a bit of a rounded point. So yeah, that's very cool. Really like this truck. I'm glad I got this. It's even better out the package. And a nice, nice way to it. Has some, these are fendered. So it kind of cuts off half of a, a Supergirl right there, as you can see, because it is fendered right there, on where the um, the wheel are, wheels are. Right here, it has some drawers that do not open, but you know they are indented, so it kind of like replicates doors. Same in the back here. Looks like it's supposed to be like some kind of tank or truck or something. I hope to see this come out. Um, I hope to see them release it in like other series. Maybe like a Penn's oil truck or something. Or when they maybe they'll release another um, series of candy trucks or an, another a series of ice cream trucks. It'll make a really good collection for that. Um, I believe it would. But yeah, this one is just sweet. Yeah, I got a good one too. It rolls real smooth, no bumping of the tires, just all nice and smooth. I noticed that sometimes with some of the real riders, uh, Hot Wheels is pretty good on it, but like with other brands of cars where they have rubber tires, sometimes it does happen to Hot Wheels. They get bumps, so you see them, broom, 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 you know. This one just rolls nice and smooth. Very nice. Glad I got this one. I might get a few more of these. Nothing on top. Alright, you guys. Thank you for watching.